everybody, it's the Redstone Wizard here again, bringing you another Redstone tutorial. This time, what I got for you is the basics of the uh, recategorizer sorter. Now, what I mean by the basics is we're not going to be adding in our filtration, our unloader, our shulker box, our bulk shulker box loader. We're just going to be building the chest hall, the storage, nothing really special about that. You can make this into a U shape if you want, or you can just leave, uh, or you can leave it as a uh, wall. Now, both of these have one similar product, no uh, similarities, but this one's different than this one. Besides being, this is a wall. This is a U shape. If I make this U shape a wall, this will still be different than this one. So, but they all follow along the same principles of this. This is what we're going to be working on. Very simple build. Not, well, really only one moving part. Well, two if you include a piston. But yeah, so this is what we're going to be working on. Getting this set up so that you guys will be able to build it in your own world. And just because it's going to be done in uh, three different segments, we have our storage. These are one white tileable and infinitely expandable. We have our loader unloader section. This is where the entire thing will either unload or unload based around what you're doing. And we have our return overflow bulk you know our return line our overflow line into the line whatever you want to call it and this is has two variations based around what you're trying to do and i'll explain both variations with that so we're just going to i'm just going to put together the items needed to build each segment this uh, this one and that one is going to be how many items you need with a few variations and this is going to be how many items per slice you need this is per section per section per slice so give me a moment and i'll be right back all right guys i'm back and everything we need to build this thing is in the section and uh, for each section is in the shulker boxes so now the reason why this one has two one is for the build and one is for the filtration i'll explain the filtration once i get to it one little segment needs to be done at the very end uh, needs to be done at the end of the build and that has a special setup so let me just uh remove that special setup there we go i'll explain that special setup once we get to it so what we need to do is get and this is just for the slices and there is going to be only one variation uh two variations how many chests you're going to need you're going to need at least two double chests and uh, at least one double chest and some and probably if i remember right seven hopper yeah seven hoppers everything else after that is what how many ever uh, sets of chests shulker boxes barrels whatever you want to store in and that many hoppers that is strictly up to you but you're going to need four solid blocks or any blocks one of them i do recommend some of them being transparent because it makes certain aspects of it a lot easier two target blocks one redstone lamp two barrels three droppers one observer seven hoppers four comparators two dust two powered rails and at least two chests and then your storage so let me grab all of this and this is per slice so this is going to change a lot and now for our uh, now for our filtration and locking system you're going to need nine stacks plus three of items that stack up to 16 only reason why i'm saying that is because it's so much easier especially if you're using banners or net or written books you can actually control the locking of certain parts of the system easier and also we're going to need i did forget about this because 
It does happen. I'm just going to use four night vision potions for this part. And a four blocking items. They don't have to be non-stackable. I just like them to be non-stackable for ease of understanding. They just don't really need anything else. 54 items that will block the... Uh, that will take up the entire space of the hoppers. As you can see, I'm using water bottles here. In there, I have uh, iron nuggets. And in one of these, I'm using uh, glass. White stained glass. That right there is... Every, yeah, you could use whatever you want, which is an advantage. I just recommend not having this uh, an item that will uh, it, uh, uh, store that is the same. So I prefer non-stackables for that. As for the uh, as for the banners, decorate them and then rename them. You're good to go using written books. You can do you can make a copy of a written book and it's not going to change. You keep the original, and the only thing that goes in will be the copies. Pull the copies out when you're done. Type thing. So, let's start out with coming back here. Let's come over here. And... Alright, so, first thing is, we're going to first decide how big you want your storage. Okay, that's big enough. Now, I'm not going to be building this all the way. I'm only going to be building one section. But this is the important thing. When you're building, decide on how you how, uh, how you want to do it. Do you want to have the straight line? Or do you want to have the U, uh, a U-shape where they're like this? Disadvantage to this is you can't place item frames. So you'll have to find a way to distinguish these guys. Or... You could always have the pillar where you can place item frames. So you could do it either way. Things don't change with this. It's just what parts get connected by the hopper. So make your decision on that. And then go up uh, how many chests. We're going to do five chests. Then we're going to take and put hoppers in the back of each one of these and a hopper going straight down into the last one. Take your one observer, let me get that out, and place it on the bottom hopper just above the chests. Take a random block, this one doesn't matter what it is, and place it where, uh, right here where a block can be placed right in front of the observer and get power. Take a barrel, place it on top of the hopper, take a hopper, place it on top of the barrel, and decide which direction you want your chest, uh, your items to flow. So, it doesn't matter which way you have them flow. Those ones, they go from left to right. This one's going to go from right to left. But I'm only going to make a single wall. So, and I'm only showing you one slice. Next, on this barrel, we're going to place a block, our redstone lamp, a solid block on top of the lamp, and a comparator powering the solid block reading from the hopper. This hopper is designed just to, uh, that hopper, this lamp, this lamp is just saying, this is the slice that is getting sorted. That's it. It's not uh, you don't even have to have that if you don't want. I just think it looks a lot better, a lot more, uh, a lot cleaner, and a little more technical. So it's a personal choice there. So next, what we're gonna do is now we got our storage. However, you, whatever you do to this is up to you. So now what we're gonna do is take our comparator, place it there. Place a solid block behind the comparator and on top, pulling us uh, pulling from the same hopper that is powering the lamp. We're going to place another comparator going out with a uh, and being pulled from a block. 
Now we're going to place a temporary block, grab our, ungrab our droppers, place one going up, one going over, and a hopper. Now, then we're going to grab our barrel and place it on top. Now, in here, we need to make sure that it, uh, that this gets filled properly. So if I grab the, if I grab all of my bottles, I can just fill these in, fill all of it in, and then just add one more here. And you can do it with signs, full stack items, it doesn't matter. You just need to have nine stacks. And since these are non-stackable, they count as a stack plus one item. And these all have to be the same. This makes it a cheaper option. So now that comparator is locking the entire system. And when the system activates and processes, it's going to unlock this one by taking an item from out and from in here, putting it in there, and now this slice is unlocked. So as soon as an item goes in, it registers it, and then this comparator powers the barrel, which powers the dropper, hold, and it stays powered as long as items keep flowing through, keeping the item from going into the hopper, which keeps this from locking up. So this system will auto-reset every single time. So now, what we need to do is on this bottom dropper, place a solid block, go down a block, leaving a black gap, Place whatever block you want, put dust on both of these. Now, the dust will be processing like this. So the next thing is, we're going to take our target blocks. We're going to put a target block up. Leaving a gap. And now look, right next to the red cell, we're going to place the target blocks. We're going to place the target blocks. Then, we're going to put a comparator. <laughs> right in the target or in the bottom target facing towards the dropper grab a dropper place it on the bottom target block with a hopper going into it a double chest next to that any block you want leaving a one block gap at the back end of the chest, take your power rails, place it on there. Grab your last two hoppers, place one there. Going into the chest, and one on top. And a right and a rail uh, power rail on the top of there. Now that's the build itself with part of the sorting. Now we got this set up here, so if we want to, we could. Now, take a lever, and it's going to, this, I usually don't recommend doing this till, because it's going to lock that, so we have to unlock it, so I have to lock it back, so I'll just take that, boom, boom, done. Now, I'm just going to break that. I'm going to go grab the shelter that has our banners. Bring it over here. Grab all the banners. And then the potions. Just the water bottles. This dropper gets filled with, entirely filled with banners. Okay. Then this gets filled with three and then the rest of this and then you can grab your other items let's uh let's just break that and grab 
some redstone dust just because I can. And we're going to rename this. We're going to rename these uh, this dust to filter. Now we're going to take this and fill in every single spot in here. Now, if you're using uh, non-stackables, it's so much easier because you don't have to do it this way. Because usually what I like to do is after I lock that, take this, throw it in there. Actually, the, actually I have to uh, throw it in this top one. It'll place it here. And then fill the chest up properly. So we'll have two there. That there. And then if I take and uh, break this lever. Now we're locked in place. Now repeat this as many times as you want. I'm going to put this. Uh, I'm going to get all of these blocks. Put to, uh, this section of the chest hall all the way all the way over there. And then we're going to start working on the locking system here uh, on the return system here and i'll explain the crucial parts to that so give me a moment i'll be right back all right guys we're back and next segment we're going to do is the return uh the return of the uh, sorting and the <laughs> maybe this will have to be in, put in at one point, but doesn't have to be put in at the very end of the first segment if you're both doing the uh, U-shaped. But, yeah, so let's take a look at what we need for this. You're going to need, and this is just if, uh, you're going to need at least one barrel. Actually, yeah, one barrel for the, uh, if you're going to make it a U-shape. But you're going to need two for the end. Five powered rails. One button, and this is a reset button. Seven hoppers, three comparators, one powdered snow, one dispenser, seven regular blocks. Eleven random blocks. Two, uh, maybe uh, two redstone lamps. It's based around if it's at the end or not. Six dust. Two repeaters, at least. Uh, this is just for this is for storage. Same thing with most of these hoppers. One regular rail, three observers, and these are specialties. So either a path block or a farmland path block is easier because it will not degrade. A chain or a solid block. With a piece of, uh, or a redstone component, doesn't matter, tripwire hook, repeater, comparator, piston, observer, detector rail, some redstone component that will redirect redstone. You cannot use a target block. So let's pull all of these. Let's break that. And let's come to the very end. So now what we're going to do here is we'll take care of this as soon as we finish building this. We're going to take and go to the very end of the rails, go up one block with a solid block, over two, and this one has to be a solid block, it doesn't matter what it is. And then we're going to go up at an angle two more. We're going to place powered rails. Now, if you place it like that, that's fine, that's good, you'll just have to break this one and replace it. To get it up going like that. Grab yourself a uh, normal rail. Place it there. And at this point you can power up most of these rails. When it comes to this rail. You need to make sure that these rails do not get powered. So next is we're going to take and go three blocks. We're going to add a comparator here. With two pieces of the dust. Your transfer block, like I said, chain, dirt block, or a random build block. It doesn't matter which one. I'm just going to use the build block, solid block, just to show you what's going to happen. So we take it there, and now we're going to take our dispenser. 
place it next to it going down come over on to the opposite side take your redstone component for me it's the button place the button there now nothing's in this uh dispenser so the comparator is not on now if we break it we got a signal strength of one if we put it there it changes but what the whole point of this is that if I place that there, it redirects the redstone so that, one, when I place this in here, break this and place it here, it doesn't fire the eh, power of snow. But if I take the button out, it'll fire the snow. Then take your, blah, uh, take, uh, your button, put it on the other side. If it's out, we'll fire it again. Place a block there. Put an observer there, and an observer there. Now, take your dust on top of here. Place a block next to there. Take a comparator. Place it right here, going into a solid block. A solid block next to it, and a solid block down. Grab your repeaters, place a four tick repeater right here with dust on these blocks. Grab an observer, pointing down into a solid block with a one tick repeater reading out from the comparator. And I can't believe I forgot to, I forgot this. We need one target block for this, just one. Place it right on top of the comparator. Now that we got that, uh, that's that's pretty much the entire system. You continue your line along here to the next entrance point. But if you want to use a, uh, uh, if you want to have this at the end, what you do is you take your hoppers. This is where one of the barrels comes in. Place a barrel here, just to cut down on the amount of hoppers needed. Barrel, barrel. Hopper, hopper. And then your chest. What this does is separates out your items into your different basic categories. You have your non- uh, you have your stackables that are not in the system going into this first one and then in this second one is all your non-stackables now we could give it the same treatment by adding in lamps like that so if I throw a full stack of trap chests in ooh, why are those uh oh well, I'll show you guys how to fix that I have that's the nice thing is I can actually <laughs> fix it pretty easy so we'll throw all you know stack the trap chests in as they come in you notice this lamp's on and we're getting things here now if I throw in here a non-stackable while we are processing well, watch what's going to happen because this will happen every single time. All non stackables are going to get sorted into one side, and now that was a stackable. Non stackables, and uh, your non stackables, and the stackables. Now, if you end up having where these where a bunch of these comparators are not running. This is where this part comes in. What we're going to need now is our powered rails. And you can start on either end. Powered rails and activator rails. A few observers. And some solid blocks. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. We're going to bust out these next three. Put a observer there. 
observer there, and a solid block there. Now we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Break this. So from here, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're going to place a solid block. Make sure we bust these ones out. Ten, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And like I said, you don't have to do it this way. You could actually go from this side going that way. But the whole point is, I got 10 of them here. Because based around right here, it will go all the way to this point, And this one will fire, sending it off. Now when you're done, double check this. So, now what we could do here is now well, let's just uh do this the simplest way we will grab a sticky piston and attach it right here make sure oh make sure that sticky piston is going Up. Yeah. Make sure it's going up. And all you have to do is just place a block that you can notice. So let's just put a redstone block with a redstone lamp on it. That's a visual. Now we're going to set up two blocks above. Temporarily, and we're just going to run it all the way down. Make sure that everything is cleared. And in fact, if you don't, if you just want to do it fast and you don't care, use a bunch of observers. The observers here are just to power, and we're doing it not uh, directly. We're doing it indirectly by using a block in between. I just didn't want to fire them while there was blocks there. So, and then you could just, if you really feel like it, just take it, take your solid blocks, place them right here. And this is just going to speed this entire process up. And all we have to do is just leave it here for a few moments. <laughs> Because now we got them all, they all should be reset. So with the text crack makes it so much easier. That's off, and so it's good. And they're all locked. So now we can just break these out. And if you need to, you can power all of these top droppers to send it items over, which then will lock it. Let me uh, Turn the clock off. Yeah, when you are when you're set, you can actually just don't even need to have this here. So now we got that lamp on, which is right. We can actually get make sure that all our hoppers are locked. Having a friend help you out. In fact, even uh, just busting these blocks out, those blocks out could help out. Look, looking. We can bust all of these, and there we go. Now we've got that segment. Now, adding this into the like a U shape. Well, no, this line right here. After you get your chest built and your line here, without this section right here, because this is not required but suggested at the very end. All you have to do is take this hopper line right here and feed it into this barrel. Now, if you want to have this uh, set up right next to each other, well, it's the same thing. You have this hopper line feed into that barrel. You just might have to come out 
here, boom, and you can use a non, no, you can use a transparent block here if you want, and then send it out here across. However you want to do it, it's entirely possible. So let me uh, clean up my inventory real fast, and then we'll get onto the build of the loader and unloader. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. And now we're going to put together the final component needed to get this thing running, at least the base operations. Don't worry, I will be making a video on all the little bits of, like, uh, all the little add-ons. But those are a little more complex. And, yeah, we're going to need to do a little work on that. So, we got, uh, so we're going to be putting this together. So. What we're going to need is 13 solid blocks, at least one transparent blocks and 29 other ones. So I'm just using glass. Nine observers, one piston, nine hoppers, eight, uh, one redstone block, three. I recommend wooden trap doors. You can use one iron or but. There's, uh, I'll explain the reasoning why. You can substitute some of these for other blocks, but they have to be very specific. It's eight comparators, four repeaters, eight dust, one target block, two redstone torches, one lever, two random items, one dropper, one redstone lamp, 11 powered rails, five regular rails, one barrel, and a container that you can control the signal strength with. I'm using a cold drink because I find putting a single water bottle in this a lot easier. Ele uh, 17 special filtration items. This one, th these are special. I'll explain where they go in them uh, when I get to it. One special filtration item, different from the 17, and three additional ones. Plus, any filter control item, you need three of them, non-stackable or stacked items. You need three and a hopper minecart. So let's grab all of this. And let's go to the start of the sorter. Okay, so over here, what we're going to do is start with this hopper. We're going to go out two over one. Okay, that's our input hopper. So what we could do there, because we don't need to do it anywhere else, we could just place a piston on top, pointing towards this way. Observer there, and observer there. Now coming down here, off of this, looking at the void, an observer with an observer powering the hopper. Any block you want. This block's sole purpose is to stop the minecart because it comes in and it's going to come in and land right here and stop and unload. Then we're going to place a solid block here, a solid block, that, uh, any block you want, a solid block, put a comparator right in there and add two pieces of dust. One there and one there. Now coming underneath, we're going to drop down one block and drop down another and go over one. Grab your dust, put dust there and dust there with a four tick repeater right here. Now on this dust, you need to make sure that you place a transparent block. What transparent block? Doesn't matter as long as it's transparent because we're going to take a repeater Put it there, put it on three ticks with a solid block on its face and a redstone lamp there. This will power, this will show that items are going to be in the system. Again, uh, so you can actually decorate this out however you want. Then we're going to take and place a solid block right behind the repeater. And another solid block right here. Throw a comparator on top. Put a dust here, and to prevent the dust from messing around with each other, we're going to place a solid block above that dust. Grab a torch, 
And we'll throw the torch right there. Grab a barrel. Right next to this hopper, we're going to place a barrel with a solid block. Now we're going to add two more blocks here. Add the redstone block. And then go down to... And then we're going to place a solid block right here. Take two power rails. Make sure you have, make sure that they will be going into the unloader versus connecting to this. Because if that happens, you have to break this, place some here, place that, then place that there. Break this. Solid block. Good to go. Then take your regular rails. And make sure, ooh, and make sure that you go all the way across, and I always go one past. Grab your trap doors. Now, you could use any block you want, just as long as that when a minecart falls through here, it can fit within this gap. Because this is right here, because the minecart is going to fall, land on a skirt, on a sloped rail, and get sent into there. So we need to make sure that it's there. So now we got that rail set up. We're going to take two power rails, place them like this, then we could bust these two out. Place the block back. Grab your only lever. This lever's sole purpose is to power that. And it's not in the way of messing with any of the redstone. So it's important. We're going to take a temporary block. Place it there. Come under here. Place a hopper. Going into it. Now in this hopper, we're going to take our three special items. And a single of the 17 and place it in there. That is our filtration for this. That's going to hold it. Now we need to be able to hold that minecart and we need to prevent that from messing around with anything. So we're going to place an observer one block at the corner from that hopper. We're going to add two more. One going up into the redstone block, which is going to do absolutely nothing other than show that observer power. Then we're going to take a three tick repeater and place it on there. Now that is going to lock that hopper just long enough not to pull this item out when the system is processing. I've had issues in certain directions of it processing when I don't need it to. Now, coming down here, we're going to make a 2x4 platform. We're going to grab our target block, place it here, and a regular block here. We don't need these. We're going to take a comparator, place one there and one there. Come over onto this side. Next to the rail, place one. And one behind it, and turn the one behind it into subtract mode. Place dust there. And there. Grab yourself one of your, oh, the last torch. Give me you. And place it on top of there. Now, this is just going to hold the signal. There's nothing that's going to reduce it. That's why we put it in subtract mode. Because then we're going to place a comparator. With an item, I don't recommend using a hopper for this, with a container that can hold and produce a signal strength of 1. And then put a signal strength of 1. So now, if I take and power this, it's going to decay. It slowly takes its time before it processes out, and it's done. And that's exactly what we need. We need time to process out. But now, what we need to do is take, and on top of these two, and this one, place three blocks, 
one block up, grab your hopper, place it going into the chest, grab your power rails, I said grab the power rails, not the target blocks, put three power rails, one here, with a regular rail or a non-activated activator rail. And then there we go. That's set. Take your trap door. And right above that. Open it. Uh, right above that one. Open it up. Here you can place a temporary block. And grab your other trap door. Place it. You can break that and open it up. Now we're going to take. And we're going to put a temporary block right here. Drop down one. And this doesn't have to be solid. It could be glass if you want. We're going to place three and one. We're going to place rail here, rail here, here. Temporary place a rail here, then break it. Grab a regular rail, place it here. Grab your hoppers going into the block, going into the hopper. You can break that. That block was temporary. Now, grab your chest, uh, hopper, blind card, your single item, your full stack, and then your control circuitry items. Your filter control items, bottles, droppers, iron nuggets, other mine carts, whatever. I just recommend renaming them just if they're not non-stackables. Then we're going to place a solid block next to it. Next to the rail, any block you want with a solid block behind it, a comparator going into the powered rail, a dropper going into, uh, pointing towards the front of the build with a hopper going into it next to the comparator, two blocks with one tip repeaters, a solid block right behind the repeaters with the piece of dust on it. Now take your two random items and throw them in there. Now the only thing left to do is power. So I didn't uh, touch the power set. I didn't touch it yet. So one, two, three, four, five. Because it doesn't matter how you get these powered as long as the minecart can uh, can travel all the way and yes i know i'm not hitting every single one i don't even know how long i made this i just took a random guess so now we got that set up so if i throw in Oh, let's use something that will I know definitely is not in the system. We're gonna throw in two stacks of stone. Now the minecart's gonna launch, get moving. It's gonna check every single one for the first item in its inventory, which is a filter banner, which doesn't have anything. Now it dropped it all off and it just got time just enough that it will start filling up all the way with just the items from the barrel that item stays in there the first item will go in here then into this hopper third item will go into uh, the second item will go into here based around what it's set up as you could end up having the first item be the filtrate uh, the slot filler and the second item be that second slot that's fine. That's what the second slot's for. So now we got it locking. And it's getting sent. And, oh, I forgot one thing. We need to throw a rail. In fact, actually, I need to extend this out to throw a rail there. That will lock that. And then when it's done, it's going to send it back out. So it's got it done unloading. And it's now sending it off. But we're still loading. We're still unloading. Just finished. If it longer it is, the more vital this section is. So, you might not need to have that extra space, but 
he might just want it. If you make it, uh -huh. and it's because of how hoppers work on Bedrock, that's the only reason why. So, there we go. And then all that uh, programming is simple. Let's use uh, some actual redstone dust in this slot one. Boom. Done. Slot one. Let me get uh, some more dust. Four. Uh, four. So, one, two, three, four with seven. Unloads. Reloads. Slot one. And as you can see, it just kept moving. There was no real wait time other than the very first one. If it keeps going, it will keep processing. And there we go. Now it's unlocked and now we're sorting. We've got the redstone dust coming in here. Over here, we have two stacks of stone. No, no, uh, no non-stackables. And... As you can see, this comparator is processing. We have a bottle in here. Nothing in there. Minecart launches. It's set up. It's done processing. Okay, comparator's off. We got the barrel empty. And there we go. It's going to keep going until it's done. And there is, it's just going to keep going. I just wish we can unload this a little faster. So, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, leave it down in the comment section. If you made your wish, I recommend joining my Discord. Link to that will be in the description. If you want to support me, subscribe. And a special thanks to the Judgment for uh, supporting me on Patreon. Links, uh, but you guys, this is the Redstone Wizard. Enjoy building.